honored. We thank you, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, Mother Khadija, and we thank the Farrakhan family, but Mother Tynetta Muhammad, we're excited to present Taha, the final call symphonic suite. So to bring us further into the program, at this time, please welcome student minister Ishmael Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum and happy Savior's Day. Tonight's performance has been a lifelong journey fulfilled. Mother Tainetta Muhammad has worked tirelessly over her many, many years to bring to her community the knowledge that she has gained from her travels throughout the world. Her musical gift came several years ago after purchasing a piano for her daughter, my elder sister, Medea, which she never played. <laughs> so when my mother saw that she did not want to take up piano lessons, she went and sat on the piano and began to play. And all of us know that Mother Tainetta Muhammad reads the Quran regularly. And it is from the reading of the Quran and her constant study of her husband's teachings to us that this music comes to us this evening. But it would not be possible had not our dear brother who I call affectionately my Dio, because he's made this day possible for my mother and for all of my family. This could be, and this is, the best gift that he could give to my mother personally, because this full symphonic orchestra is something that my mother has wanted all her life. All her life she has wanted to see and hear one of her inspired piano compositions played in a full-scale orchestra. And so it is my pleasure to introduce to you the man who has made it possible for all of us to be here and who is giving us tonight this Savior's Day gift of music, the Honorable Minister yeah. Louis Farrakhan. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, we thank Him for His prophets and their teachings. We thank Him for Moses and the Torah. We thank Him for Jesus and the Gospel. We thank Him for Muhammad and the Quran. Peace be upon these worthy servants of Allah. As a student of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I could never thank Allah enough for his raising of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad as a spiritual guide and his messenger to us. I greet all of you in the audience, all of the musicians, Mother Tainetta, and all of those who 
are present and those who are absent who wanted to be here with the greeting words of peace. Assalamu alaikum. Tonight is a, is a very special night for Mother Tainetta Muhammad and for me and for her family and for all of us. Genius finds its way to us in many forms. Music is a form that has allowed God to visit with the human family through what he gifted human beings with in music. There is no way that you could listen to the music of Mozart, the music of Bach and Beethoven, Handel, Brahms. There's no way that you could listen to Stevie Wonder and the great artists that have made life worth living for us, except that you know how God visits humanity through the gifted ones that he places among us to ease the burden of life's journey. I met Mother Tynetta when I first saw her become a follower of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad in the month of February, on the 28th day of that month in Detroit, in 1958. Little did I know that this beautiful young woman who used to use bongos and other musical instruments as a means of getting out of the house so she could come and hear the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And little did we know that one day she would become his wife and one of his great, great students. To all of the musicians that are here, what we do not sometimes understand is how divine revelation introduces sometimes new forms of art, culture, and music. Mother Tynetta's insatiable desire for knowledge has taken her all over the world. And tonight, her dream, not fully and completely fulfilled, because in her travels to Mongolia, she really wanted to bring the Mongolian symphony and wed the Mongolian symphony with the musicians from the United States of America. On this stage, you have those playing some Chinese instruments and other instruments of the world because all of her journey was to unite human beings, regardless of race, or color or ethnicity through culture, through art. And so tonight, this woman who never took a lesson in music at all, but as her son, Brother Ishmael Mohammed said, she would go to the piano. And as she would read and study the Quran, certain things would come to her as she would get to the piano and she composed the Muslim march and song of victory which was recorded in Mexico City by the Mexico City Symphony and it was also recorded in Cairo, Egypt by the Cairo Symphony. This is a work that she has been working on for a while. 
and she will explain Taha, what it means, where it comes from, and why it so inspired this composition tonight. Those who know Rimsky-Korsakov, those who know Prokofiev, those who know some of the modern composers, this work is amazing and my uh, friend and brother, Dr. Lin, who will conduct this orchestra, his son and sister Lily Wan and others who will perform. I want to thank all the members of the orchestra, all the members of the chorus, and above all, I thank Almighty God, Allah, for producing this wonderful woman. I thank her mother, who has passed on, and her father, for producing a sister and a mother whose impact will be felt in Islam for decades and centuries to come. Brothers and sisters, it is my honor to present to you our sister, mother of the faithful, wife of the honorable Elijah Muhammad, composer of the Taha Sweet Mother Tainata Muhammad. holy name of Allah, the all-wise, true, and living God, who came to us, not as a spirit, but in the form that we would recognize and ultimately come to acknowledge as being the true and living God, Master Farad Muhammad, to whom praise is due forever. We thank him for raising in our midst the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, to whom much has been given <laughs> and much yet to be recognized and manifesting his power in this millennium. I am so overwhelmed with the words that our dear beloved brother, the honorable minister Farrakhan has shared that it does take me a little back and I'm overwhelmed with your presence and to see you and that I can talk to you from a certain perspective that I have never had an opportunity to share before. And I thank you for coming. We're going to move along and I'm going to introduce two young artists. One is the young harpist from Washington, D.C. And if they will come forward. This is Sister Indio Blue <laughs> Muhammad, one of those Indio, <laughs> Indigo children. And she really has made a reputation and name for herself at a very young age and has recorded many of her musical compositions on the harp. We have also a brother who has graced us with his whole family. His father is here, his mother, and the rest of the family are celebrating the Mongolian New Year, happened to correspond to our Savior's Day. So they are all involved at the University of Indiana and other programs uh, throughout the state. This is our dear brother, Del Gurbat Ush. <laughs> And he comes before us in his national dress, and he represents the Mongolian family, which is also our family, uh, uniting with our Native American family until we all become one. And uh, we are going to hear them play background music 
as I give you a very brief uh, story about a mystical journey traveling around the universe, traveling around the earth, as we become more knowledgeable about our responsibilities to the whole of humanity. And we are going to begin that now. As we lower the lights in the auditorium, and we begin to hear this melodic music that takes us into areas of our universe and of our planet to tell us the story of humanity. The slides uh, prepared. Now, very quickly, we're going through the universe and we also saw a trumpet sounding from the heavens. And we saw 12 small trumpets sounding the atone message. As you remember, the atone message was delivered at uh, the Million Man March in 1995. And the 440 revolutions per second is the actual A tone for the tuning up of the orchestra. And uh, the orchestra will be tuning up again with the tone. What you're looking at here as we go very quickly are images from American indigenous cultures. We were in New, um, uh, what do we call, Tahin which was one of the pyramid zones you saw in Veracruz, the state of Veracruz. And here the Olmec culture uh, is basically there. And you can see the gathering now of our Mexidus tour, which has taken people with our professor uh, Hummer around uh, the coastal area of, of Tabasco, of Veracruz, and also the state of uh, Chiapas. And we are very happy that young people gathered with us on that journey. In this particular photo, uh, we're seeing what's going on in the air above our heads. There is also a civilization that is above our heads. And most of the indigenous cultures point to the heavens as their source of origin. And our teaching points to the heavens as the source of our origins. Here you see some pictures of my children traveling with me at very young ages, first to Egypt, with Ishmael and my daughter, Amadia. And what you, who you just saw was the daughter of Anwar Sadat. Um, and here you see Mexico, to the valley where we introduced the first expression of Taha with orchestra and with musicians from that part of the world, the sacred valley of Mexico, Tepotzlan, Amatlan. And here you're just seeing images showing you outdoor setting where the stage was built. Instead of an indoor theater, we were outdoors. And now we're down in the state of Chiapas and we're taking our group through the jungle uh, land to visit the indigenous people of the Lacandon forest. Here we see the beautiful waterfalls. We're in nature, and we were surrounded by nature, uh, such as what you see here throughout the state of uh, Chiapas. We're in Peru, and my son and I traveled to Peru many years ago in the early 90s, Machu Picchu, which you're familiar with. And again, I'm in the forest area, and uh, the parrots and other macaw and different birds that were very friendly with us. These are people that we met that came all the way from Russia, Moscow, and happened to be in Palinke at the very same time that we were celebrating the uh, crystal skull ceremony. You see those glasses on their heads? Water glasses. That might make some of you recall that the savior, Master Farad Muhammad, uh, was, we were told, danced with the water glass on his head. Now this is an interesting picture, but it's going kind of fast, so I may not be able to explain everything. There you saw the score of Taha being presented, and our maestro who will be introduced, Mr. Philip Lin, 
uh, came down also to Mexico with his family to try to see where they could improve, enhance, and enlarge mother's vision and mother's dream of playing in concert with other indigenous instruments that is mixed into the symphony. In this particular period, we were in Tepotzlan, the holy and sacred valley, and this is Yanga, who is the great hero, the first liberator. And he, we just recently celebrated 400 years. Uh, of his fight for liberation in the Americas. We are at the Lowell Observatory and the very spot where they discovered uh, Pluto. And here we are in Sedona in the Red Rocks. And so we're trying to show you how we blend with so many people in so many parts of the world. This is in Bimini, which is in the Bahamas. And uh, what you saw through the water were stone uh, road that they say belongs to an ancient culture, civilization that went below the, the waters. Here I'm in Mongolia, and it was about 20 degrees below zero, but uh, Chicago uh, now has surpassed <laughs> the, the below zero mark. Here I'm meeting the 29th generation of Genghis Khan in Mongolia, and you saw there a flash of a picture of the Honorable Minister Farah Khan and his wife and sister Karima, and myself as we were traveling in Dagestan in this very same area of Central Asia. And you keep seeing this piano back and forth because mother is picking up the vibrations of the cosmos, the ecology of the environment in which we live and blending in with the cultures. This is Dr. Ben Jokanen and we were sharing some information at uh, a gathering and here we are in Mongolia, and you see here the instrument that the young brother here is playing uh, as we were guests of the Unification Church at a leadership conference. Here I was given an award because of the music that they recognized over there as having connection to the scales of music and vibrations um, of the universal order. And they, they study those high science, but this is China. <laughs> that was the Great Wall. And this is some money that has Mao Zedong. These are images that were taken uh, over at the Forbidden City in Beijing. And those are some of the architectural structures uh, that we visited. You remember the movie, The Last Emperor? And that was the throne. This gentleman here is the top composer, arranger, and leader of the great uh, traditional orchestra in Mongolia, who now has a copy of my music, this same music that we'll hear this evening, and wishes to present it to audiences in Mongolia, if it be the will of Allah, uh, either this year or next year. Here you're seeing me visiting with the Buddhist um, uh, monastery, and that was the only Buddhist woman who teaches the, the women in the Buddhist monastery there in Ulaanbaatar, the capital of Mongolia. Here is a Native American, oops, this is a Native American uh, sister from the Navajo Nation, along with um, the chairperson, Shirley, and the First Lady, as we visited there. You're seeing flashes of different people who have visited with me, or that I have met, uh, throughout this period of my study. <laughs> And this is Miriam Akiba, as you may recognize. This mother, Khadija, <laughs> and myself, at a wedding. <laughs> and this is Stevie Wonder and, and uh, Sarita Wright. This is, of course, India Ari, as she came together. And she said the reason she came is because she was attracted to the work that we were doing. You saw the Honorable Minister Farrakhan at a very young age. This is the home in Detroit where he and his family first moved into Hamtramck after leaving Atlanta, Georgia. Um, this is a, a rare picture of Mother Clara, Mohammed, and myself as a young teenager. And I think you recognize Honorable Minister Farrakhan fixing the mic uh, for the great <laughs> Honorable Elijah Mohammed. These are pioneer workers for the Hispanic people. Oh, that's, that's right, that's my son. We thought we'd just put that in there. You know? That was Ishmael, and we were in Pakistan in 1989 to help to get some of the jewels 
for the minister's garment. This were featured in um, Essence magazine. And this was at the end of the presentation that we had in um, Mexico and that was some of my family. This is Yo-Yo Ma, uh, the great Yo-Yo Ma, who met with the Honorable uh, Minister Farrakhan. Uh, and then we just saw the Little Angels Ballet group with uh, Reverend uh, and Mrs. Moon, and the minister and his wife also attended. These are showing you the black presence in Mexico. We'll find families that are kindred to us. This is Costa Chica in um, uh, the Pacific side of Mexico. This is a gathering of all of the young people who, oh, I don't know who that is. Oh, <laughs> that was another slip. Somebody just slipped that in. And, uh, and then here you see the Quran held by the Honorable Minister. Here you see the Honorable Elijah Muhammad making great disciples and people that are so famous, in, even from Martin Luther King. I don't know how many people know that, that he met with Martin Luther King Jr. And in addition, um, that was it. The end? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. I am now going to do my best to perform on the piano the central piece of the Taha Suite, Final Call, symphonic suite that you will hear this evening. And you pray for me because I'm not a professional performer but I have been able to get to the piano and within, let us say, five to seven days at the most, the title will come to me of these compositions. And so the titles, when they come, were titles of the chapters of the Holy Quran. And I said, my goodness, there's a story, you know, behind this expression of the cultural language of music as a universal language that reaches into the heavens above and affects the cultural development of us humans on this planet. And I pray that I will be able to perform this piece adequately so that you can see that this is not being made up. I actually played and I've never had any training as Minister Farrakhan pointed out and I never had training on an instrument and I don't know how to read music. So I have to just keep it in my head and try to practice it. Um, and this is my first opportunity to perform before this gathering of believers and our friends. So thank you so very much. Let me see if I can do this. <laughs> thank you. I will be at the in this particular piece by another one of our uh, young uh, performers, who really is not a performer, but he's of the Mevlevi uh, Dervish school. And he flew in uh, by the grace of uh, contributions being made, among them the Honorable Minister Farrakhan, to make it possible for us to share in joy the expressions coming from our family members. He happens to be from the sacred city of Kona, which is in Turkey. He didn't fly in from Turkey. He happens to be living in Canada. So it wasn't that difficult. And he will come in and go out throughout this uh, particular performance to show you or to share with you the spiritual uh, meditative form that one's religion can take them to in their connection to God that we can pivot and the pivotal part of our life is God himself. So we align ourselves with Allah. So we recite the name Allah. And then we come back down to the earth much more humble than we were before. Thank you.
The story of Moses and Aaron. O oh man, listen to thy Lord. Moses is called. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. O oh man, we have revealed the Quran to thee, that thou mayst be unsuccessful, but it is a reminder to him who fears, a revelation from him who created the earth and the high heavens. And has the story of Moses come to thee? When he saw fire, he said to his people, stay, I see a fire, happily I may bring to you therefrom a live coal, or find guidance at the fire. So when he came to it, a voice came, O oh Moses, surely I am thy Lord, so take off thy shoes, surely thy, thou art in the sacred valley of Tua. And I have chosen thee to listen to what is revealed. Surely I am Allah. There is no God but I. So serve me and keep up prayer for my remembrance. Surely the hour is coming. I am about to make it manifest so that every soul may be rewarded as it strives. Moses and Aaron go to Pharaoh. He said, my Lord, expand my breast for me and ease my affair for me and loose the knot from my tongue that they may understand my word and give to me an, an aider from my family, Aaron, my brother. Add to my strength by him and make him share my task so that we may Glorify thee much, and much remember thee. Surely thou art ever seeing us. He said, Thou art indeed granted thy petition, O Moses. Go thou and thy brother with my messages, and be not remiss in remembering me. Go both to you. To Pharaoh, surely he is inordinate. Then speak to him a gentle word. Happily he may mind our fear. So go you to him and say, Surely we are two messengers of thy Lord. So send forth the children of Israel with us and torment them not. Indeed we have bought thee to a message thy Lord, and peace to him who follows the guidance.
We have a concerto. She's going to do it then? Okay. An encore. Mother Tanetta Muhammad. Allahu Akbar, Mother Tainata Muhammad. At this time, at this time, Mother absolutely want to give recognition to some of her international friends who have been so wonderful, so accompanying. And we have to give thanks. First of all, let's start with this wonderful chorus, please. Let's give them a please stand. Wonderful voices, beautiful. And they are the Concerto Artiste Chorus and the Magnificent Symphony. Please stand. Oh, my. Thank you. Take your bow. Thank you. Mother, want to make sure she's hiding. She's one of the violinists, but she's also the musical coordinator, Miss Sylvia De La Serna. Thank you. A very wonderful friend that Mother met on one of her international trips, and that's Miss Lily Yuan with the Bamboo Chinese Doshimer. Please stand, Lily. And Miss Betty Zhang on the Erhu. Where's Betty? Oh, please stand, Betty. <laughs> Mr. Hong Lin, who is also the pianist and the son of our conductor. Please stand, Mr. Hong Lin. I appreciate Mother standing here because we also want to acknowledge Mr. Honglin that he is a professor at the distinguished a Juilliard School. And he also, yes, yes, that do deserve a round of applause. Thank you. And Mr. Honglin also served with the Beijing Olympics with the Tin Piano Competition and he was involved with so many international uh, concertos. We, yes, that, thank you, Mr. Hongdalin. Absolutely. We want to acknowledge, wow, we're going to say that for less. She's wonderful. Thank you, Mother, for helping me. How about Mr. Kenny Muhammad? Woo! Exceptional. And his time is vocal percussionist. <laughs> yes. The first violinist, Jeff Yang. Thank you, Mr. Jeff Yang. I want to acknowledge Mr. Thomas Geist, who was the narrator, wasn't seen, but thank you, Mr. Thomas Geist. <laughs> Divine hands, whoa! in honor of our late sister, Sarita Muhammad. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. We thank Brother Hakeem, Sister Leah Muhammad, Brother Kenneth Muhammad from The Final Calls. And uh, we want to bring up right now at this time, Miss Diana Wang, who is the wife of our conductor. Come on, our giveaway. Here she is, she's humble. Come on up. Yes, she's wonderful. She takes care of all the video. 
Yes. Yes. Thank you. Diana, take a bow. And with no further ado, we want to bring the conductor, Mr. Philip Mann, please. Oh, man. Thank you. What a wonderful.